Good morning everyone, my name is Joshua Mibelidog and today I will be discussing the major functions of special senses. So special senses are the senses that have organs specifically devoted to them. These senses have specialized organs that detect and process stimuli and send signals to the brain which lead to the perceptions of that stimuli. So the sense of taste, smell, hear, hearing, equilibrium, and visions are the five special senses. Special senses require specialized sensory receptors within large complex sensory organs in the head region. So now let's know more about these special senses and their major functions. First, we have the sense of, sense of smell or the olfaction. So olfactory receptors located in olfactory organs are specialized chemoreceptors in the nasal cavity. So chemoreceptors is a type of sensory receptor specialized nerve cells. It is a specialized nerve cells that responds to a stimuli. Olfactory receptors are bipolar neurons surrounded by ciliated columnar, columnar cells. These sensory cells, after being stimulated by olfactory sensations, send nerves impulses along the olfactory to the cerebrum. So gases in the air entering the nasal cavity are dissolved by the nasal mucus. Nasal mucus is secreted by goblet cells in the columnar epithelium and the resulting solution stimulates various olfactory receptors. Next, we have the sense of taste. About 10,000 taste buds occur in the oral cavity, mostly on the tongue. Each taste bud contains 40 to 60 taste receptors. These sensory cells are stimulated by taste sensation. So chemical substances from the food or beverage enter the mouth and are dissolved in the saliva. Saliva is secreted by salivary glands and mucous membrane of oral cavity. Dissolved chemical substance substances stimulate various taste buds in different regions of the tongue and combination of taste sensations produce hundreds of different taste senses. These sensory cells, after being stimulated by taste sensation, send nerves impulses to the facial nerve glossopharyngeal ner nerve or vagus nerve to the cerebrum. As I have mentioned, tongue has different kind of taste sensation but I only have here four primary taste sensation. Number one is sweet. It is a taste sensation caused by organic substances such as sugar and amino acid. The most sensitive part of, the, of this taste sensation is at the tip of the tongue. The next one is the sour. It's a taste sensation caused by hydrogen ions from acidic substances. Most sensitive at both sides of the tongue. The third one is the salty. It's a taste sensation caused by metal ions or inorganic salt. The part that is, it is most sensitive is the side and the tip of the tongue. And then the last one is the bitter. Bitter. It is caused by alkaloids and non-alkaloids, most sensitive at the back of the tongue. And then the next special sense is the sense of vision. Access, accessory structures of the eye are those that are not directly related to the sense of vision, but facilitate the physiology of the eyeballs. So we have the eyebrows to shade the eyes from sunlight and to prevent perspiration from reaching the eye. Eyelids to protect the eyes from foreign objects and to prevent dissociation of the eyes by lubricating fluid. Conjunctiva, a mucous membrane on the inner lining of eyelids which produces lubricating and cleansing fluid for the surface of the eye. And the last one is the lacrimal gland, exocrine gland that secretes a dilute 
saline solution called tears, tears for moisturing the eye, moistening the eye. So, tears contain mucus, antibodies, and antibacterial enzymes that protect the eye from infections. Emotional tears are also contains enzymes that, that seem to help reduce stress level. Let's move on to the anatomy of the eye. So the wall of the eyeball consists of three layers of tissue. Number one, we have the fibrous tunic. It is the outermost layer. It is made of fibrous connective tissue with minimal blood vessels. This layer contains two regions, which is the sclera and the cornea. Sclera is a white area that extends from the back of the eye towards the front. And cornea is a transparent tissue in the front for allowing light to enter the eyeball. Next layer, we have the vascular tunic. It is a middle layer made of thin fibrous connective tissue that contains numerous blood vessels. This layer, this layer contains choroids. A pigmented membrane in the back to provide nutrition and to absorb life, light, and iris to regulate the amount of light entering the eye by constriction or dilation. It also includes specialized structures such as ciliary body, which regulates the shape of lens, suspensory ligaments, which atta attach the ciliary body to the lens, the lens, is another transparent tissue that bends to the light entering the eye and the pupil. It is an opening created by the actions of the iris, where a large pupil is caused by a deleted iris, while a small pupil is created by constricted iris. And then the third layer is the sensory tunic. It is called, also called the retina. So it is the innermost layer made of specialized nerve tissue. It contains two layers of tissue, the outer pigmented layer and the inner, inner neural layer. Outer pigmented layer which absorbs light and stores vitamin A. And then the inner neural layer that detects light using photoreceptors and sends nerve impulses to the occipital lobe, lobe of cerebru cerebrum through the op optic nerves. So, sensory tunic has two types of photoreceptors that are found on the neural layer. This is the rods and the, the cones. So, the rods detect tones of visual images and cones detect colors. The sensory cells, after being stimulated by visual sensation, send nerve impulses through the optic nerve to the occipital lobes of cerebrum. Now we have the chambers of fluids in the eyeball. So we have the anterior cavity located between the cornea and lens contains aqueous humor for supplying oxygen and nutrients to the lens on, and cornea. And the second one is the posterior cavity located between the lens and the retina contains vitreous humor to transmit light from the lens to the photoreceptors on retina. The next special senses, sense is the sense of hearing. The gross anatomy of the human ear includes the outer ear. It consists of auricle and external auditory meteos. The middle ear consists of the tympanic membrane and auditory ossicles and inner ear that consists of cochlea three semicircular canals, and the vestibulocochlear nerves. So the outer ear is responsible for transferring sound waves from the environment to the middle ear. The middle ear is responsible for amplifying waves, sound waves into strong signals for the hearing receptors to detect. The inner ear is responsible for using mechanoreceptors to detect stimuli for hearing an equilibrium and send the nerve impulses to the vestibulocochlear nerve.
to the brain. And then the last special sense of the body is the sense of equilibrium. Detected by mechanoreceptors in the semicircular canals to help maintain body posture and body stability. Nerve impulse, impulses generated by the receptors in semicircular canal are transmitted by the vestibular nerve to nerve 8 and then the signals will be processed by the brain. Now we have the two types of equilibrium. It is the static and the dynamic. Static is the sense is the senses the position of the head and vertical and horizontal movement of the body. It helps to maintain body posture. Then the second one is the dynamic equilibrium. It is the senses the motions of the head and body. It helps to maintain overall body stability. So receptor called macula located in the semicircular canals detect the position of the head. When the head changes position, fluid in the semicircular canals move and generates wave, waves that bend the stereocilia on these macula cells. This is from static or the static equilibrium. Receptors called crista ampullaris located in the semicircular canals detect the positions of the body. When body moves, similar physiology with equilibrium occur occurs in the semicircular canals, resulting in nerves impulses being sent to the brain for interp interpretation. This receptor called crista is from dynamic equilibrium. That's all for the special senses of human body. Thank you for listening. Bye!